a few weeks ago i uploaded a video on the minimalist bond repair shampoo um the shampoo and the hair growth active serum and about a month of using these products i think it's time to review them so let's talk about the state of my hair when i first started using this shampoo so i had minimal amount of dandruff when i just began using this and i also had frizzy and dry ends and let's just not forget that i've been dealing um with hair fall for the longest time so i was hoping that this serum would help me tackle that so one crucial aspect of any product is its ingredient and as a consumer it's our right to know what are the ingredients in a particular product that we are paying our money for and let me just point out that minimalist stand out in this aspect they are incredibly transparent about the compositions of their product they list their entire ingredient list on the back of the product and on the official website on nyka wherever we can buy them and i think this is commendable and more brands should follow this suit also i've done my research on the ingredients of both of the products and i'm pleased to tell you that both of these do not contain any blacklisted or any sort of ingredient that cause further irritation unlike other shampoo brands that claim to be anti dandruff or anti hair fall and contains ingredient which causes it so i think in that aspect minimalist is a big winner so let's talk about how shampoo worked for me so in the initial weeks of using the shampoo i started noticing that there was a gradual decrease in the dandruff that i had and now i have no dandruff and it's funny that i used anti dandruff shampoos in the past and my dandruff was gone just for a day or two and then it came again now the best part is it is not an anti dandruff shampoo but why did it reduce my dandruff it's probably because ingredients that it has are non drying and it suited me so it's a win win Additionally this shampoo does not overly dry out my scalp which in turn causes more oil production and if you use products which are drying then your scalp to combat the dryness will create even more oil so overall i love this shampoo and i'll also add that i didn't use the shampoo on the ends of my hair i just applied and focused it on my scalp because otherwise it will dry your hair out but overall it was an amazing experience using it it has no fragrance which is amazing it has no sulfate no paraben which is also an add on i do not mind uh, parabens in it but if you're washing your hair with hard water i think non paraben shampoos are nice so, so now let's talk about the hair growth active serum so i'll be honest that i was not very religious in the initial week of this um the bottle says that you have to apply it after on your clean scalp on your clean scalp after washing your hair and your hair must be dry so i did that a couple of time but i will tell you that whenever i did use this product it did wonders to me i've been dealing with hair fall for the longest time and i did everything in my power to combat it but it did not work so i've seen a dermat i've had medication also took multi vitamins i used every oil that they have marketed under the category of anti hair fall. all but nothing worked i even tried the methi hair hair mask and the onion juice multiple times but it did not work i've also used the himalaya the pantene anti dandruff shampoos but it, it did nothing for my hair in turn it increased my hair fall because of the poor composition of those products but this thing is truly magic in the bottle so when i applied this on my clean scalp after washing my hair so i will tell you that my hair fall reduced significantly now also let me tell you that i do not experience hair fall continuously some part of the year i experience excessive hair loss and then the other part of the year i experience none so for someone who has tried various remedies without success I think the serum's effectiveness was quite a relief for me. Even on the days when I skipped it, I noticed that my hair was significantly fallen less. And let me just put it out that other than the effectiveness of these products solely, I have also made some changes in my hair care routine and I think that also contributed to the overall health of my hair. Firstly, I stopped using oil altogether. It's been 3 years since I stopped using it because once a dermat told me putting the oil onto already oily scalp was since the conditions clogs the pore and i think the idea of putting oil on hair is deep rooted in our indian minds and it was hard for me to stop using oils because i've been using them for the longest time 
I've been using it ever since I was a child. So it was hard for me to completely stop using it. But when I did, it significantly affected the health of my hair that in a good way. Okay, and then I never use shampoo on, on the ends of my hair. I just focus the shampoo on my scalp and not the end of my hair. And I never wash my hair with warm or lukewarm water because warm water weakens the root of your hair. So in conclusion, would I buy these products again? Yes. And would I recommend you to buy this? Absolutely yes. So subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.